So today, I thought we'd just focus in on the light. I think that's the whole um, idea of the light invocation, is to really be filled, fulfilled in the light, full of light. And by doing that, it's beneficial to you and to others. And it's positive, and it's the most subtle feeling we can, subtle symbol we can use for that divinity. That getting in touch with that um, consciousness, that flow. And so it's really a good time to fill up with light. Just to remember to do that and to think about it and to know that it's, know it's healing power and that we have so much to be healed in us that unless the light is turned on, we don't actually recognize it because it's such a pattern in our life. We like to hold on to the negatives and the pains and remember the things we did wrong. So often we have to just sit there back into the light and give from that place of light and forgive that place of light and love from that place of light and be compassionate from that place of light. For ourselves first, we fill up with that. Then we're ready to help other people. It's interesting that in Swami Radha's teaching, she gives us a lot of little things to do, a lot of little practices that will help us tame the mind, control it, make it realize its power, and also the connection to us. Like it just doesn't have a life of its own, like it really does do what we want it to do and not what somebody else put in there that we think it should be, that they thought we should be doing, or that we thought. It's like, no. What is it that we, how do you want to use your mind? And so one way that she gives is to watch it, which sometimes it doesn't like, likes to hide. But the other one, another one is, if you can concentrate and in the divine light invocation, you concentrate on the warmth of the light. And you concentrate on the space between your eyebrows. So what you're doing is holding something steady and not letting it wand your mind wander. That's, a, that's just a normal tendency of your mind, is to wander and to wonder, but to wander, it really does do that. But sometimes that wandering, that wandering is, is good for the mind because it can sometimes just gather things on another level. But often we want it to concentrate, like to be with us and, and follow what we need to do. And so what we'll do right now is go to that space between our eyebrows. And you can actually just lick your finger in and place it there so that you can, when you close your eyes, you have a spot to go to. And sometimes you can put special things there like a flower. Then begin focusing on that space and bringing the mind and all of those, that massive mind, all those connections to that one spot. And we do it relaxed. So as you breathe, Feel your body relax and still concentrating. See the light there. 
Concentrate on the brilliance of the light in that space. See the brilliant light fill your entire brain, head. See and feel the light fill your entire body with that brilliant light. Keep your concentration and feel it moving out, encompassing everyone here and filling the temple. Brilliant white light. Keeping your concentration on the light. And have the light move out to your friends and family, to people in need that you know. And see it covering the whole world in brilliant white light. And then beyond our world, as far as the light can go. And now begin to draw the light back to our world, to the people we know, to this temple, to the space between your eyebrows, brilliant white light. And then appreciate your mind that it was able to keep that brilliance stretch out and come back and keep the concentration. I am created by divine light. I am saved by divine light. I am protected by divine light. I am surrounded by divine light. I am ever growing into And come to know and recognize the results of your practices so that they become yours, that you actually enjoy doing the practice. And so you do it and do it until it becomes yours. It's like something that's cared for and appreciated becomes real. And so that spark that we have in us, it's not the tears and the pain and everything that affect us, the emotional realm that we live in often, is not, does not touch that part. So that if we can go to that part, it eases the pain. It cultivates the emotions. And we realize we have that strength and that power within us to heal ourselves, to become who we truly are. Namaste.